Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening. It's another time uh, in the presence of the Lord uh, this hour. And I want to welcome us to church online. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your tender mercies. As we have come before your presence this evening, we ask, O oh God, that you speak through us. You will speak to us in the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, speak through this vessel and impact lives that your name alone, God, be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I welcome us to church once again. This is the King's Chamber, Lekki, the citadel of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly before we go into the study for this evening, how like for us to listen to this uh listen to this ministration and we'll take over from there. Hallelujah. Listen and be blessed. Hallelujah. Just uh, a, a, a little more second and we are going to hear and we are going to hear the the music. Please a little more Hallelujah. Oh, 
Welcome back from that ministration by Victoria Orenzi on fire. Hallelujah. Today we are going to be talking about the principles of self-development. The principles of personal development. The principles of personal development. That's our topic uh, for this evening and for this study. A lot have been said about personal development, whether from academia to different fields of life, and more so from the scripture. We listened to that ministration not quite long, because the question is, what is God's uh, intention for me? Do I know God's intention? Do I know God's purpose? Do I know God's will for my life? And am I working to become those things that God wants me to be? Of course, I know that. Of course, I know that this will dovetail into our personal lives or every other sphere of life. But meant as well. Follow me quickly to this. Sorry, I just uh, lost our uh, connection uh, briefly. Uh, we are back online. Hallelujah. I read and verse 15. I'd like to read uh, from uh, two translations the contemporary english version says do your best to win god's approval as a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed and who teaches only the true message god's word translation says do your best to present yourself to god as a tried and true worker who isn't ashamed to teach the word of truth correctly? The word of truth. Do your best. Emphasis on that. Do your best. Do your best. And one of the principles of personal development is getting into one we ought to be and how to get there with a conscious and deliberate actions to be taken. I read another scripture quickly. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. 
the amplified version says, but the part of the just, the righteous, is brighter and brighter until it reaches its full strength and glory in the perfect day. Until it reaches its full strength, the part of the just shines brighter and brighter until it reaches its full strength in glory. So personal development is a continuous or conscious improvement until we get to our final destination. So when we talk about principles of self-development, we will be talking about things that we consider Things we consider to be the truth, things we consider to be the propositions, things we consider to be the belief, the belief system which we are standing on, or the premise for which we take certain actions. So when we talk about personal development, quickly, a few thoughts. Uh, you know, runs through the runs through the mind. I want us to consider uh, something very quickly about the dream of Pharaoh. The dream, the dream of Pharaoh in Genesis chapter forty-one, and we saw Pharaoh had a dream about seven lean cows and seven fat cows. And if we ask ourselves, which would we prefer? Would we prefer a lean cow or would we prefer a fat cow, a well-nourished cow? If we say fat cow, a, a proportionately or a cow that has grown in its right perspective, that has grown to its full potential, I'm sure that we'll, I'm sure that we will settle, we will settle for that. So, first and foremost, when we look at the principles of self-development, we can see from the scriptures we've read that God desires that we grow. And we should not just grow, we should come to a point where we become perfect. So, it's a... Hallelujah. Sorry about the, discord, uh, about the discon disconnection there. Okay, so when we talk about development, we can see here that Second Timothy chapter 2 tells us that we need to study, to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman that should not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word about myself, purpose here on earth. What's God's will? A study or an understanding of this purpose will help to determine what and what steps I should begin to take. I know that if we look at academia, we will see five principles, ten principles, all of these principles about, okay, how to improve myself. But I need to do a study. I need to do a self-discovery. What is my nature in Christ? What is my character in Christ? What is my personality in Christ? It is very important that we take a study or we have a perfect understanding about that. So, it is a study of God's word that helps or points us to what God wants us to be. And that is what we will begin to work on. The topic once again remains the principles of self-development. And... The principles of personal development, personal development, self-development, yeah, semantics there. So, 
let's let's take let's take note of the fact that God wants us to grow. And he does not just want us to grow, he wants us to have quality growth. And as I speak about this, it, it, it brings back to memory back in school when we are taught when we are taught about the difference between growth and development. Why we want to lay emphasis that growth will have to do with quantity, development will do with both quantity and the quality of the growth. The quality of the growth. So if I must personally develop, is if I must grow and grow well, that will be based on my discovery of who I am. That will be based on the discovery of the potentials God has placed in me and to what extent or to what use I put these gifts, potentials, or talents, or whatever nomenclature we want to give to it. Let me read one, one let me read one more one more scripture and we'll look at the various dimensions with which we can have uh, personal we can have personal development. First Peter chapter two and verse two says the New King James Version as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the world world that you may grow thereby that you may grow thereby that personal development and that speaks of the desire to grow so we have established one that if we must grow if we must develop personally we must do the study of God's word we must do the study of who we are in Christ and that brings us to you know the realities of the new creature we need to take a study of that we need to discover we need to discover that and once we discover that you will see that it will set us on the on the path of growth it will set us on the path of development and now which has to do with the individual so for 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 us what have we discovered about us in god what have i discovered about me in god very important and one thing that was very instrumental or instructional about the life of jesus is every time he picked the scripture it will always open to what has been written consigning him and with every passing day we see that every step that he takes is a walk towards fulfilling what god or what has been written about him so today don't expect a uh, personal development more from the numerous steps or the other dimensions that we we'll see personal steps where we will list step that okay you need to self develop yourself you need to develop certain habits and all of those things yes all well and good all of these principles all of these steps formed into different words of course will come first and foremost from understanding what your purpose is for life and our purpose for life as children of god we know we can only discover that in we can only discover that in god so do your best to win god's approval as the contemporary English version puts Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. And the doing of the best is what will break down into the principles we want to look at or what constitutes the personal development that we are talking about today. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. So number one, what's your purpose? What have you discovered about what have you discovered about God concerning you? That's very, very important. And as the newborn babe will desire the milk to grow, so also we need to see the need for us to grow, see the need for us to improve on our everyday life, on our everyday living. I love the words of the Apostle Paul who says, I press towards what? The mark of the calling. He knows he has an assignment to fulfill. He knows that in his present state, he is not yet there. He knows that deliberate actions needed to be taken to get to that place. So, have I discovered purpose and have I also outlined actions that must be taken for me to get to that bright light, that bright ending that God wants for me? If we go back to the examples of the seven lean cows and seven fat cows, and we did mention that you will discover that everybody will like a, a well a well nurtured cow, a well nurtured animal. But it takes a conscious effort. It takes a conscious effort. So today we may want to consider, like we stated earlier. What's my nature? What's my reality in what's my reality in Christ? Let's let's consider that. My service to God's kingdom, what is it like? How best am I doing it? Do I need to take a study of the word of God to get to know what God is saying daily? Do I need to get to know what I should do in the service of God? Do I need to discover that? Do I need to think every day on how to make it better? The essence is that I'm doing everything possible to grow. I'm doing everything possible to what? Everything possible to grow. The accountant will say something that we are what? Work in progress. That is work, action, or something is being done continuously to what? Continuously to grow. Every time I take out time to discover, I take out time to do those things that we need to do. And that brings uh, to my consciousness if there must be self-development. Last week, the, uh, the study dwelt on discipline the hallmark of a true believer, discipline. The things that I must be doing, am I doing them? Can I bring myself to do those things? Very, 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 very important. Very, very important. So we, mo we, 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 must, we, must, take, we must we must take note of that. So, if I'm personally developing myself, then I must be ready to invest in myself. And part of this investment is the study of God's Word. I must be able to spend on myself. And depending on the things that I am as well spending on myself, Am I spending on books to improve myself on relevant topics that will make me do well? 
Am I spending time, you know, listening to messages, whether spiritual or secular, to make me to make me better? Am I visiting places that will improve my vision and give me a better perspective of God's kingdom and about life in general? What am I doing for myself to make myself better? So we can't do without that. That personal development is more of what I put into myself. It's more about the investment I put in myself. Am I learning from my past mistakes? Am I getting more knowledge that will make me correct those mistakes and make me better? And that is where the discovery of purpose is very, 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 very important. Because with this, you can tell of your mistakes, you can tell of what you are doing correctly, you can discover what you are going to be doing better. Principles of personal development. I want to grow in quantity. I want to grow in quality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, take note that we've been emphasizing on discovery of purpose because it is the bedrock for every other thing we are going to do to grow properly. Because it is in the discovery of purpose that will also bring to mind the power that is on the inside. Every time we read that scripture, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who, what, who strengthens me. It takes a discovery that indeed I have the ability, I have the capacity to fulfill the potential or to fulfill the purpose that is before me. So, inherent in every individual is the ability to fulfill purpose. For every purpose God has for a man, one thing is certain, he has definitely released the ability to fulfill to fulfill that purpose. So it will take for me to discover it. It will take for me to put it to work. Hallelujah. It will take me to put it to work. Yeah, this is where another you know, a uh, principle also comes in. What is the nature of my work? How often am I doing this work to make me better? How often am I engaging in the things that I have discovered can make me better? Maybe by books, listening to messages, inspirational quotes here and there. Am I putting them to work? That is one. How often am I, do, am I doing that? Am I doing them at the right time? That will speak to people who will talk about habits that must be cultivated when it comes to the principles of personal development. Of course, we say habits are things we do, we, we, we do, we do regularly. And it is often said that if we can repeat the same thing for consecutively 21 days, that it becomes part and part and parcel of us. Maybe we may want to try that when we discover that, okay, this will make me better. I want to do it consistently without fail. And see whether it becomes part and parcel of you. It is also very, very important. Uh, one thing that speaks to, you know, habits and doing things consistently is that as we do 
these things. The scripture says that we learn what? We learn obedience through this thing, through through the things that we pass through. And that is when we are striving towards what? Towards per to, to, towards perfection. And this scripture also readily comes to mind in Psalm 139 verse, you know, 14, that tells us that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. We are wonderfully and what? And fearfully made. If indeed we are wonderfully and fearfully made, and we can take a self-assessment of ourselves that, okay, am I that wonderful person? Am I actually manifesting that wonderful person? It is my present life manifesting that wonderfulness? And it brings to mind, if we go back to school again, we will say, good, better, what? Best. Good, better, best. So when it becomes good, there is a step further. And that's the growth we are talking about when we read when we read the scripture, first Peter chapter two and verse two. It's a continuous process. It's a continuous process. Let me reiterate once again that one you need to discover purpose. And once you discover purpose, too, you need to improve on yourself. You need to make yourself, you need to make you better. Whether by, whether by books, the messages, the messages we hear, those are various ways we could, uh, personal, we could personally develop. We see the we see the life of Jesus that in order to improve himself, we have records that Jesus will go to pray. We have records that Jesus will ask for strength. You know, more especially when he was in when he was in the in, in the garden, and we have to say, okay, in this wise, if I must fulfill this assignment, God, your will must be done. And you need to help me here. So, and part of the ways to make us better, we have our mentors, we have coaches. You know, they will all come in different. They all come in different, different forms of names. But the most important thing is. How is it improving myself? Let's uh, drive this. Let's drive this home to more practical aspects of our lives. In, in, in the world today, you will discover that a whole lot of things are being done. You know, today, even everybody generally is encouraged to, okay, learn one online thing, uh, learn one online thing or the other, learn one skill or the other. It's the, it's the language that is on today all, all over the world. And, you know, why are we encouraged to learn these languages? Why are we encouraged to learn one skill or the other? Because you never can tell the opportunity that will come your way. And all of these things are just derived from God as the source. Because God has given us talents that we must put to use. Anion, sharpens what? Anion. So a friend sharpens what? The, 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 the countenance of, of, of his friend. All of these scriptures, all of these things are in one language that we are describing today. Personal development. There must be consistent improvement. God is not static, so we cannot afford to be stat static.
Hallelujah. We cannot have no a quick one on uh a quick a quick Hallelujah. So God is God is not God is God is not static. God does things, He may do the same thing, you know, in different ways. He tells us of the multi dimension of God, and that is one aspect of personal development. We keep improving, we keep discovering how to how to make life better now the uh, now the essence of this is first and foremost as we, we have stated will be for for the kingdom of god the assignment that is committed to me even in the local church or to the body of christ am i improving on the ways i carry them out if we go to our personal places of work, office, or our even personal work, are we thinking of ways of making them better? You will discover that the thoughts of making these things better are what will drive us to. If we go back to the scripture, uh, the, 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 if we go back to the scripture in Second Timothy chapter two fifteen, that has to do with study. And it is the study that leads to the discovery. It is the study that we can put in other words as per, uh, 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 as per training, as per getting mentorship or what have you. Because that will expose us to different that will help us to that will help us to achieve results. Yes, like I said earlier on, this is not the uh, conventional uh, personal development that that we look at. But at the same time, all of this can be can be spread across the different spheres of life. So, number one, discover, make a discovery of what the purpose of God is for you. Number two, when you are discovering, you will see that you will discover ways with which you need to ways with which you need to go about it. And when you discover the ways with which you need to go about it, and just as we learned last week, you need to be disciplined about it. You need to be disciplined about it. You need to endure hardship as a good soldier. Because the truth is, would we be challenged or would there be impediments to uh, our wanting to do these things, to personally improve ourselves? There will be obstacles yet, but we must strive at it. We must strive at it. We must strive at those things we have planned, those things we have discovered that we need to do. Jesus will go to pray. Jesus will study. So very, 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 very important. If we are not taking anything away from the study today, we must take away the fact that it will not be enough for me to discover what God wants me to be. It will not, not be enough for me to also discover the things that I do. But it will be enough if I carry them out. And that is where discipline comes in. That is where discipline is very, very important. Paul says, I put my flesh under. I put it under subjection. I discipline the flesh. It is not coincidence that the flesh will be competing with the spirit for our attention. It is not out of place that the flesh will want to be lazy. It is not out of place that the flesh will want to sleep most of the time. But, hey, we must get ourselves to do what we need to do in all righteousness just to get better. And so we can maximize our potential. 
let Miles Monroe, one, you know, once said something about the grave that the grave has what the largest deposit of human potentials that have not been tapped. The reason is not far fetched. There were no personal developments. There were no there were no outline steps to actually do these things. Or there were never the discipline to see that those things observed or those things discovered were never carried out. So the individual's life will remain a mirage, will remain a potentials unfulfilled if we don't apply discipline to doing the things that we ought to do. Very, very important if we must develop. Perhaps, maybe this example, you know, will sink better. If I've discovered that, oh, I need to acquire more knowledge about a topic, and I have gathered books, I have gathered tapes, I have gathered every material that I need to. If I've gathered all of these materials and I don't open the book for one day to read or I don't listen to the tapes, will I get better? Will I get the required knowledge that will guide my action? Obviously not. And it will take discipline for me to tell myself that I need to consciously open this book. I need to read. I need to study. I need to glean the knowledge that I need to glean. And I need to put it to work. I need to take actions to practicalize them. That is when I can say I have personal development. So personal development is about you. Personal development is about me. It's about the time, the dedication, the meditation, the attention, and the deliberate act I give to it. It was personal development that made Daniel to, to tell the people placed in charge of them what and what they want. It was simply what? Personal what? Development. Because he knows that if they are going to be alert to God, if they are going to be alert to hearing and following after God, they need not defile themselves. And that was also discipline. So in pursuing personal development, what are the things that you have discovered very important? What are the things that you have discovered about yourself? What are the potentials that you have discovered? What have you also discovered to unleash those potentials? I'll wrap up on this note. That go today, go back to the source. Go and make the go and make the discovery about you. And it is in making the discovery about you that other discoveries, that other aspects of your life will unfold. Go back to your source. Go back to God. Go and make a study. Go meditate. Go get the blueprint. When you get the blueprint, you will discover that it is easy for every other step to unfold that will make you better, that will make me better. That is where you will discover where to seek help and the things to do that will make you better. So go back to the source. Make that discovery today. And let that discovery, by the help of the Holy Spirit, unfold every other dimension or all, every other aspect of life that we must necessarily work on so that our path, like Proverbs 4.18 tells us, will shine brighter and brighter. So, I wrap up 
on this note, tell yourself that personal development is a continuous process. It's a continuous process because there must always be continuous improvement until Christ comes. Anyone who stops learning has started dying, if not already dead. So the journey of discovery, the journey of improvement, the journey of becoming better is an everyday thing, is a continuous thing until our chapter is closed here on earth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to believe that you have picked one or two things that will help you in the journey, in the in, in, in the in the journey of life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the King's Chamber Lecky, the citadel of favor. And today we have examined the principles of personal development. And we trust that our lives will keep getting better every day because we will keep gleaning from the source. We will keep showing to us the things that we need to do and that as we begin to apply the discipline to do them, our lives surely must get better in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Quickly, can we get uh, our communion elements? It's also a uh, it's also a communion service as well. We break the bread uh, every time we gather to uh, study God's word. Jesus commanded that we do this uh, in remembrance of him as often as we do so. And we trust that the power that is in the communion will do great and mighty things for us in the name of Jesus. It will bring healing our way. It will bring deliverances away. Whatever you trust God for, trust that there is efficacy in the blood of Jesus. There is efficacy in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's quickly grab the uh, let's quickly grab the communion uh, elements. Let's take the bread, Father. As we partake of your table, we ask that in the name of Jesus that life will be restored to every dead situation in the name of Jesus, whether deadness of the body, whether deadness of the spirit, whether deadness in finances, whether deadness in career. As we partake of your table, whatever form of deadness, that by the reason of this communion, life is activated in us and all that concerns us, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can break the bread and you can take it. Hallelujah. You can take the wine. Maybe it's a ribena. It is a water or something as, uh, 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 as, as the symbol, as a representative of the blood of Jesus. You can drink it all. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for this communion. We thank you once again because life is restored to us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Once again, thank you for tuning in. This is the King's Chamber. Lucky, we are located at 42 Obayekini Elegushi Road, Obayekini Elegushi Street, Chisco bus stop, Lekki. Chisco bus stop, Lekki. That is where we are. You can join us for our uh, physical services on Sunday by 9 a.m. Today we are having online. We meet on site as well, 6 p.m. on Wednesdays like this for equipping the saints and uh, the communion uh, service. Let's take note of the following announcement. Friday is going to be the first day in the month of March. We are going to be having our early morning settlement uh, prayers. We are going to be joining online 
on the free, com com free conference call, Afokoka 3. That's the link with which you can join. We want to start the month with the Lord. We want to start the, 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 the settling everything about the month of uh, everything about the month of March in the presence of the Lord. So join the free conference call on Afokoka 3 uh, for the early morning settlement prayer. Friday, the 1st of March, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Also on Friday, our corporate prayer and fasting is going to be starting it's going to be starting from march 1 down to march uh the 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 third that's from friday march 1 it will run through saturday second and sunday march third is going to be a corporate uh prayer and fasting let's also not forget that this coming sunday which is going to be a uh, march third is also a fresh impartation it's also time for our fresh impartation so let's come let's come let's come prepared and god will be preparing us and be sending us forth for the new month in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah and just before we wrap up we are going to we are going to be giving uh, our offering we can do a transfer for our offering since we are online for today's service to a gtb account uh media please can you help me put uh put that up can you help me put that up so if you don't have the the bank details you you media will put up the bank details and we are going to be uh giving uh offering we are going to be giving we are going to be giving our offering Hallelujah. Okay, let me let me read it out. If you are there, the King's Chamber Lecky GTB, the account details 0169400032. GTB 0169400032 zero zero three two the king's chamber lucky that's the name of the account we may do well to also give our offerings hallelujah i trust that we have been blessed tonight i trust that our lives will be the better for it and i look forward to seeing a better and improved and a greater you after this series, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for tonight. As we close, we are not going out of your presence. We ask that your presence will continue with us. We ask, O oh God, that as we seek your face, you will unfold yourself to us. You will, um, oh, you will unfold your purpose for our lives. In the name of Jesus, in unfolding your purpose for our lives, we will equally discover the things that we need to do to make us better. In the mighty name of Jesus, we receive the, the grace to discipline ourselves, to get to do those things that will make us better spiritually, physically, financially, materially, and every aspect of our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you because this and many more you will do for us that your kingdom will be greatly improved and impacted through our lives that humanity will be blessed and come to the knowledge that you are good, that you are kind, that you are gracious. Take all the glory and adoration in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace in fellowship.